Now, today we're going to shift a little bit and we're going to actually go back to Jacob because I think that you should know something about Joseph before we move forward. Jacob had actually made a coat for Joseph, and the coat that he made him was a multicolored coat, and people have written about this over time, made plays about it, written stories, all kinds of different things. Joseph's coat was different because he was special. Instead of being short-sleeved, it was long-sleeved. Instead of being knee-length, it was ankle-length. And with all of his brothers, and he had 11 brothers, they would all be in a one-colored coat. So whenever they would all stand together, you could probably tell which one was the favorite. And the reason he was the favorite is because he had Joseph in his old age. He didn't think he would have another child, but he was able to. For us today, this would be like grandparents having grandkids because they get a chance to maybe fix some of the things that they wish they hadn't done or to make things right where they know that they screwed up with their children. But make no mistake about it, Joseph was one of his favorites, and that is part of life. And sometimes we struggle with that because as kids we think, why is he my dad's favorite? Why is she my mom's favorite? Why is that? That is not something that we can control. But this is something that we can control. Are we one of God's favorites? And the answer is yes. Each one of us are. He loves us unconditionally. He loves you unconditionally no matter your struggles, no matter what's going on, on the inside, no matter how much you're screwing up on the outside. He loves you, loves you, loves you. It's unconditional and it's all out for you and for me. And that's something that we can rest in. So at the end of the day, if you're not feeling as though you are someone's favorite, know this, you're God's favorite.